Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Living the Little Way. You know, Jesus called us to perform works of mercy. We call them the corporal works of mercy. Uh, in Matthew 24, he said, Whatever you do for the least of my brothers, you do for me. And one of those things that he charges us to do is with sheltering the homeless. It's my privilege today to have with us uh, Madeline Shields, who is the director of the Bishop Dudley Hospitality House, which does just that, taking in those who are homeless and making sure that they have a safe and secure place uh, in which to spend the night or sometimes multiple nights. Mm -hmm. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So how long have you been with the Bishop Dudley House? Now? Just about four years at the Bishop Dudley Hospitality House. And tell us a little bit about what the Bishop Dudley House does, because just calling it a homeless shelter really mm -hmm. doesn't do it justice. No, absolutely not. So what we do at Bishop Dudley House is we are open doors and open arms to anyone who is in need of a shower, um, a meal, shelter for overnight, um, to do their laundry, to use the phone, use the computer. So we're actually uh, more than just an overnight temporary emergency homeless shelter. We provide people with um, dignity and respect when they are at their most vulnerable, when they are um, in need, they can turn to the Bishop Dudley House and we will help them get back on their feet and help them uh, provide them with whatever it is that they need at the moment. And that really is kind of at the core of, of why the Bishop Dudley House was created was to help people regain that human dignity mm -hmm. and better their lives, kind of as, as that step up uh, into getting out of that situation of homelessness, which whatever that, that may be. Those situations are, mm -hmm. can be very different for each individual. Tell us about some of the different reasons that, mm -hmm. that people are homeless. Sure, absolutely. You know, we had a woman whose house burned down. She had a house fire and she became homeless because of that. Um, you know, it can happen to any of us. You know, it's, it's um, there, but for the grace of God go I, because you never know what can happen um, any day of your life. You know, people don't wake up one day and say, oh, I'm going to think I'm going to be homeless today. This is what I'm, I'm, my plan is for my life. Um, that is just not the case. Um, it can spiral for many, many different reasons. Um, you know, there's domestic violence. There is, um, uh, well, I had a, a, during the pandemic, a guy, um, the landlord died of COVID who owned the home that this man was renting. Well, his family sold the house, so he didn't have a place to live. And so th there's all different kinds of circumstances. And during the pandemic, there, you just could not go look at apartments. There was nothing available um, because everybody was terrified of what was going on. And mm -hmm. so homelessness can, can happen at the drop of a hat. Um, and sometimes it's a long process. Um, I have had um, adult children with developmental disabilities who have lived with a parent who is aging and that parent is elderly and passes away. And now we may have a 55 or 65 year old um, child who now is displaced and has nowhere to go and really doesn't know how to live on their own and they become homeless. And so everybody's story is different and that's why the Bishop Dudley House is such a, a critical facility in our community to be that safety net for people who have nowhere to go and they can come in. And now we're just not just for homeless um, people. We are a day shelter, which is eight to 5.30. We have folks who own their own home in, in the Whittier neighborhood, or they have an apartment and they come over to have lunch for companionship. Um, people are just lonely. They don't want to eat a, a, a meal alone. And so they're more like a family and they really look out for each other. And the staff is, is crucial to these relationships. And we love people where they're at at the moment that they walk in. And you mentioned relationship. And, you know, we talk a lot about relationship here at St. Therese, whether it's relationship with Christ, relationship with each other. But the reasoning for that is because relationships are really at the core of who we are as human beings. Explain how important that is uh, to the residents uh, at the Bishop Dudley House. You know, when people um, 
especially people who are homeless, who I guess look homeless, they may be transient. Um, there are people that you may see on the street. And a lot of times, most people are afraid of their appearance. Um, I would venture to say 99% of them are completely um, harmless. Um, they, if you sit down and talk to them, they have the same wants, needs, um, expectations for their life that we all have. Um, they want what's best for themselves. They want what's best for their families and their children and their spouses and their, their parents and their siblings. Um, they just are in a really rough patch. Um, there's a lot of mental health disorders that go along with homelessness and then that can also lead to addiction and substance use disorders. And so we see people at all different stages with all different challenges. And the one thing that we offer at the Bishop Dudley House is no judgment. They can walk in. We're not afraid of them. Um, we hold their hands. We welcome them in. Um, we treat our guests as they are guests because we have hospitality in our name. Mm -hmm. um, they are going to be treated with dignity, respect, and compassion. And so once they realize that this is a, a very loving, care, caring place, you see that their self-esteem starts to go up. They're not afraid. They're not as um, disappointed in themselves because they realize we're not disappointed in them. It just is, it's a fact of life that they're struggling and we're just gonna work from where they're at. And when they realize there's people in their corner and that we're gonna be there no matter what, they feel a lot better about themselves. And now all of a sudden they're helpful and they're helping us and they're helping themselves. Um, they volunteer. We don't have a custodian on staff. All the guests that stay at the Bishop Dudley House, they clean, they do the, the floors, the walls, the um, wash the windows, they help in the kitchen, they cook, they, they cook and they clean and they do dishes and they are there to help pick up trash every two hours around the whole neighborhood over there. And so it's really a family atmosphere with a lot of people who come from similar backgrounds yet different backgrounds, um, but have many of the same challenges. A lot of times I think with, with causes like this, we may think, oh, we just need to give money. But you actually need a lot more than money mm -hmm. at the Bishop Dudley House. You need the people, the volunteers, to help build those relationships. So tell us some of the ways that, that we can come and help out and, and assist at, at not just at the Bishop Dudley House, but in, in touching the lives of these, these guests. Sure. So, you know, I always tell people, give yourself a gift and come down for two hours or three hours. Sit at our front desk, work at the reception desk, um, help with some data entry, help with us, you know, addressing envelopes. Um, be around our guests. And once people realize that they, they are not afraid, they have no reservations about coming in, and they actually enjoy themselves, and they have a lot of fantastic interactions with people. Um, you know, people who may be homeless, that doesn't mean they're joyless. They are happy people. They look at the bright side of everything. They're probably the most optimistic people I've ever met in my life. And it's because they know tomorrow's gonna be better. Something good is coming around this next corner. They have so much faith and, and it's true it is gonna get better and they do see joy and they do experience all those better days when, when they are open to it. And so come and be a part of that. We're always looking for volunteers to help us. Um, we need people to help in the kitchen. Um, if you can't come and cook and serve, you could sponsor a meal. Um, we serve lunch Monday through Friday at 11.30. We serve lunch at 3.30 on Saturdays and Sundays. And so we always need help preparing those meals, serving those meals, doing a little cleanup afterwards. Our guests are right there and it gives people an opportunity to work side by side with the folks that they're helping. We're not just open doors, open arms for our guests. We are for every single person who walks in there, whether it's somebody bringing in a donation of hygiene items or toilet paper or coffee or, or food. Um, we want everyone to feel comfortable at the Bishop Dudley House. And once they come in there, they're like, this is an awesome place.
our Knights of Columbus Council for the last couple mm -hmm. of years has done a cookout. Yes. Um, you know, which, you know, at first, you know, we, we think, oh, just burgers and hot dogs, no big deal. But it is a big deal because mm -hmm. those interactions that we got to have with the guests down there really, I think, changed a lot of the guys and just their their outlook on what it is like mm -hmm. to really reach out and help the homeless with open mm -hmm. arms. But you also have a big event coming up here in just a couple of weeks on Saturday, August 5th, a large fundraiser. Tell yes. us a little bit about that. Sure. It's called Taste the Goodness, and it is um, hosted by the Catholic Community Foundation of Eastern South Dakota. We are blessed to have their help um, doing a lot of the work to organize this event. But all of the proceeds for the Taste the Goodness goes directly to support the Bishop Dudley Hospitality House. And, you know, we need those funds to help us keep our lights on, keep the water bill. You know, we, our guests take 20,000 showers a year. We have a lot of showers going on. Um, not to mention the loads and loads and loads of laundry. Our individual guests do about 4,500 loads of laundry a year. That doesn't wow. include all the sheets and the bedding that is used every single day that goes into the commercial washers. And... Um, so we are a really busy place. Um, about 35,000 meals are served at the Bishop Dudley House every year. Um, you know, at first you don't think 35,000, that's really not that many. But when you're feeding 120 people every single day, mm -hmm. that's a lot of people who would otherwise be going hungry. And when you look at it that way, that is all the difference in their world. Um, you know, we, we have the electric bill, the gas bill. We have, to, we have to come up with funding for all of that because we are about 94% privately funded. So it takes every penny. When people think that, you know, what's my $25 going to do? Well, your $25 is going to feed uh, about 10 people because our mm -hmm. meals are about $2.50, you know. And, mm -hmm. and so um, that that is a huge contribution to us at the Bishop Dudley House. Um, no gift is too small. And um, that's why the Taste of the Goodness is such an awesome, awesome event. Um, and come to that. The tickets are about $50 and buy it in advance. It's a little cheaper if you get it in advance rather than at the door. And um, there are so many tastings. If you like to come and um, sample food, sample beers, sample wine, bourbons, this is the event for you. Yes, they have tastings for uh, many different things, coffees, wines, beers, uh, flavored waters, a whole bevy of beverages that you can try, and then food from restaurants and vendors all across the city. And I'll make the shameless plug, every year, <laughs> me and my team, we, we roast two whole hogs there on site. So come check it out, come stop by, see us at the hog pits. We've got the whole hog barbecue with homemade barbecue sauce and homemade uh, coleslaw served up right there, fresh off the pits. I guarantee that if you're a foodie, this will be one of the prime events uh, of the summer for you. Come out, have a great time. Uh, Saturday, August 5th, uh, the location is down at the Avera building, down uh, across from Fawick Park uh, by the outdoor store there. We set up in the parking lot. Um, tickets are available in advance. The link will be below and a little uh, extra information at the end of the video here. Uh, and uh, the great silent auction item, we'll have a couple of uh, uh, baskets of my homemade barbecue sauces yeah. and rubs in there that are always popular every year. Uh, so check it out and it really helps support a great cause, but also participate in one of those corporal works of mercy, which Jesus Christ calls us to participate in, sheltering the homeless. Well, Madeline, thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. Thank you for all of your efforts in making sure that those who are displaced in our community are taken care of. Thank you, and I appreciate the opportunity to talk about Bishop Dudley House. Well, let's pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, you called us to be your 
your hands and your arms of mercy to those less fortunate than ourselves. Help us always to hear the cry of the poor and always to allow our hearts to open up and pour out what we can to them to lift them up for the least of our brothers. We ask you always, Lord, to support our efforts as we pray together. Glory be to the Father, Father and to the Son, Son and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, now and, and ever shall be, world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll see you next week.